Hey, this is Christina, and in this video, I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate what I did with Red Panda BYOC cluster. Basically, just different ways you you can connect with it using VPC pairings and through public networks. And one of them, I even have Lambda, which is uh, being will be triggered by the events that was sent into the cluster. That was a very basic setups. Uh, what I did was I spin up another Kubernetes cluster, which is also resized in a different VPC. And I'm using that cluster to host a Python application, which is going to stream events into my Red Panda BYOC cluster. And then um, I have a external client, which is written in Quarkus, and that is going to be listening from outside and then consuming um, the events that was published by the Python producers. And I also have another Lambda services, which also resides in another VPC um, in the, my cloud environment, which is going to be also listening to all the events published by the Python application and is going to, which is going to react to it. Let's get started by looking at the cluster that is holding, hosting the Python application. The Python application itself doesn't really do much other than just publishing um, random events. And I have a switch that I have configured inside my config map, which is going to control if I want to publish, uh, actually publish events into the cluster or not. So I'm just going to go, go and turn on the switch so it will now start publishing. Um, it's going to take a minute or two for it to reflect in my pod. And let's just go ahead and follow the log so we can see that uh, things are happening. Let's type in the follow, and now we can see the uh, message and events starting to send and streaming into my BYOC cluster. Now we have the BYOC cluster ready. Let's create another consumer. Um, the consumer itself is a very simple Quarkus application that is running on top of my laptop. So I'm not going to do something fancy. I'm just going to go off and kick off that Quarkus application, which is then going to start connecting to the BYOC cluster and start consuming the events. And let's go ahead and look at the Lambda functions that we've created to that is listening to everything that's happening inside the BYOC cluster. As you can see, once uh, the events start streaming into the BYOC cluster, it automatically back get picked up by the Lambda function, and you see the metrics starting to change, and you see it's now starting to consume the applications. Since this is a BYOC cluster, everything is installed in my cloud environment where I can kind of see everything. Here is a view of my VPCs. You can see I have several VPCs that's hosting the Lambda, the Python, the Red Panda Cloud, the Red Panda BYOC cluster, um, as well as, as a default controller, which I'm using for other things. And you can see here is a VPC peering connections where I have set up to connect it to my Red Panda clusters. And in the Red Panda console itself, I can see things start happening through my metrics dashboard that is built into the platform itself. And that's it for the demo. If you have any questions, let me know. And all the install instructions are all in my GitHub repository. Feel free to check it out. If you have any problems, just let me know. And I will be continuously improving this demo so it doesn't just publish events. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.